Hey, gang, it's your old pals, Uncle Hank and Kippy. Just want to thank you for tuning in to Are You Garbage? Yeah, guys, make sure you subscribe. That way you get the episode as they come out. And you can also go to gasdigitalnetwork.com, use promo code AYG to get bonus content and get the episodes before they come out and HD streaming. Do it. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Oh, Baba! Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is R.U. Gabbage, the show where we sit down with your favorite comedians and find out if they go up classy or if they're absolute trash. I'm your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful Friday afternoon here at Gas Digital Studios. He's lying. It's, tu- it's Tuesday. Prank caller. Prank caller. the cola. power of television. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Zuckerberg. I am your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day here at Gas Digital Studios. My co-host is across the table from me, so you know it's a fucking fan question episode. Ooh. Just the family. Circle in the wagons, no guests, no pressure, no bullshit, no that. It's just us, gang, and we got a lot of your hot emails. Couple of free range birds, baby. Let's. <laughs> the, you can't keep me caged down, Daddy O. Gang, do me a favor. Give me a nice big round of applause for his fucking MacBook Pro, Kippy Kevin James Ryan. <laughs> hey, what's up, gang? Thanks for uh, tuning in, everybody. Love the family shows. It's family style. Nice. Get the eggplant parm out, it's the nice. big bowl of pasta, a little garlic bread. Throw it in the middle of the table, and let's have a little Sunday evening feast. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't like this angle. The, the, the back fat's really showing. Look I, like, I look like I'm laying down. <laughs> you look like Jabba the Hutt on acid. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Eating that frog. Hey, how was Woodstock, huh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, uh, guys, as always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Last I checked, we were in the top 200. Maybe fell out. Oh, not sure. Man. But keep us in the top 200. Guys, it, the fucking, we appreciate all the support so much. Honestly, it's fucking amazing. We slid down that thing like a fucking booger on the wall. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. We uh, hung in there for about a week. We're hanging. We're, we get in, we get out. We get a stick and move. We fly like a buddy. You know, you don't uh-huh. want to be the Rogan. You don't want to be Joe Rogan up there with the bullseye on your back. You know what I mean? So you fucking stick and move. Get in, get a couple more subs, get out. Get in, get a couple more subs. I saw his position taking a little bit of a hit, too. Um, But guys, please please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes, and also, full as you know, full video available on YouTube. Uh, You can subscribe there as well. We appreciate all support. Uh, Thank you, guys. And real quick, since we're doing a family show, let's give credit where credit's due. Shout out to our amazing producer, Dylan, for all his hard work. Hard work on the fucking live show. Yeah. Down there in Philly. Uh, audio quality, blame on him, but he's a good <laughs> kid. Uh, and the new graphics and all that stuff, he's fucking holding up the fort here. Why, uh, why Brian's uh, not feeling well? I don't know if that's whatever. Should I have said that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. Snip that out. Just, Shut up. Just go on with the show, you fucking goober. I'm trying to fucking give Dylan some props. This guy, this guy realizes there's a camera on him, clams up real quick. Huh? What do I do with my hands? <laughs> <laughs> like your mom on the news. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I saw the whole thing. Guys, uh, so as you know, this is a listener episode where you guys write in all your questions. We've, uh, I mean, we, we decided to do this like two days ago. We put the tweets out, put the post out. We've gotten fucking hundreds of... Hundreds of questions came in. Some of you, thousands. Some of you repeating. You know, some of you. What? Some of you might have never watched the show because, like, have you ever fucked your mother, or the dog? What's up? Gonna be a little rough around the, the one edges. Th- the one thing I'm finding is people tweeting comics that we've already had on the show. Yeah, you gotta have so and so. I had a bucket two weeks ago. Yes, guys. So also, if you're not aware. The, the the people that we've had on, I mean, we've had Bobby Kelly, Paul Verzi, Andrew Schultz, Joe Liss, Mark Norman, fucking Corinne Fisher, Christina Hutchinson. I mean, the who's who of fucking comedians. Mm-hmm. And they're all available on Gas Digital Network. Only the most recent 15 episodes are available on YouTube. For legal purposes. For legal purposes. But you can use promo code AYG, sign up, get those, fucking hit the bricks. You know what yeah. I mean? It's a good deal, man. It's a good deal, but we got... We wouldn't steal you wrong. We got so many fucking questions. Uh, some of them are fucking home runs. Home runs. Yeah. On these. That I'm like a little jealous I didn't come up with them. And some of them I've had sitting in the hopper that came across from. Oh, these are good ones, you know. Okay. Um, well, let's see. But we've had we had multiple come in asking about us. Okay. Because. Uh, Four inches. If, if we're still an item. No. <laughs> <laughs> are you two still hot and heavy? <laughs> uh, no, because uh, a lot of us don't. 
and there's just know us on the show a little bit. Okay. We're off the show as guests. So uh, kind of the, a few people asked about the origin of the podcast and or us a little bit. Um, so this is from Bobby, who came up with the idea for the podcast. That's funny you mention that. Let's get this fucking well documented on audio because somebody was running their mouth off uh, before the other show about some legal action that would be taken by the IP, intellectual property. <laughs> I have retained counsel. That's already trademarked under Patty Foley. Uh, <laughs> Patty Foley Enterprises. In case something happens to me, all goes to my mom. Yeah. Ma's getting the money. It's, she, she's got a holding corp with uh, Are You Garbage and an above-ground pool. Well, the truth is, okay, um, how it came. Now, listen, we're 50-50 no matter what. Okay, Kippy and I. Yeah, this, I do. I do ninety percent of the work. So if anyone's it, counting out there, there's not. There's not. There's fifty <laughs> fifty ownership. I do ninety percent of the heavy lifting. There won't be any legal battle. It'll no. be fifty fifty split. Ha- we got a handshake deal. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they got the McDonald's brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb fucks. What do you think I'm doing to you? I'm. I'm gonna fucking Ray Kroc this whole thing. <laughs> you think you're over there selling hamburgers? I'm buying real estate. Okay, uh, we've you know Kevin and I've been working together for years. We started in Philadelphia together, uh, running shows. Uh, we don't need the whole you know at the Jesus Raven Lounge. See, I went to college I, to play football. <laughs> you know how many times right. I've heard this fucking story? <laughs> Every whatever I was, it was a cold, crisp evening. No, uh, Eddie, I, 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 <clears throat> we always kind of did it. It was a game we played. We loved calling each other. Well, we, it wasn't defined as a game no. yet, but we just did it to each other. We would ask each other questions about growing up yes. and be like, oh, that's fucking trash or garbage. The first big one was milk for dinner on the ride home from when we were in <laughs> Altoona. We did a road show in Altoona. Mm-hmm. And the, that, I remember like dying. We were like, I was trashing you for mm-hmm. drinking milk for dinner. Yeah. And that was one of, that was like one of the big first, you know. And then we had done a podcast called the Center City Comedy Podcast for many years. With Derek Gaines. With Derek and Gaines Tom and Tom Cassidy. Cassidy. We all started in Philly together. And then uh, one day I was in the shower and I said, and I, I thought of the actual game, like yeah. to play the game. Now, it was still undefined at that moment. And then we played it once on that podcast with each other and we fucking loved it. And uh, that's, that's where it came from. And then Kevin and I together, mm-hmm. you know, formed what this podcast yeah. is now. Yeah. And even before that, we had another podcast, Hard Feelings. Yeah. So this is our third attempt at, uh, because somebody said, did you have a show before AYG that bombed? Yeah, we had two of them. (laughs) He goes, I mean, you guys have blown up some of the biggest names in comedy, have been on the show. Thank you very much. Was that a lucky shot or has it been planned after a few things didn't work out? Yeah. You know, we kind of. Meticulously planned. I'll tell you, that part of it, okay, like when I say he's the brains behind the operation, is Kippy. You know, Kippy does the SPO and the fucking algorithm or whatever the fuck it's called. SPF 30. <laughs> Got the zinc on the nose. It's like a flannel shirt. Um, yeah, but we've thrown a couple things against the wall, learned, you know, retooled, and, you know, and now we're here. And we're so much, we're so fucking ecstatic of all the support and everything. Yes, like that. we love it. Like so after that's... the live show, there was fucking a bunch of people hanging out, taking pictures. Guy drove, you hear this, uh, one crew drove up from Baltimore, they got in the car, the kid hit a deer, they turned around and got a new car and fucking drove, they totaled the car. What'd they do with the deer? That's in the trunk. <laughs> Some jerky. <laughs> a couple of venison steaks. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's a that's little, for the a little bit from. of background on the old uh, Kipster and Foley. Yeah. But let's get into some fan questions while we're fucking here. Hit me! This one, I can't bring myself to do, and it's a tough... Will you go out of your way for a free donut, free Slurpee, free coffee on those National Donut, et cetera, days? That's no. from Robert. No. You've never been like, oh, it's free no. free crawler day. Let me fucking swing by. Never? No, no. Why? Because, you, one, you're poor, and two, you like a nice fucking sugary snack. That's riffraff shit. It is. That's riffraff. You th- can't spend the 79 cents they get to, yeah, to, to I don't get even, the I don't, day before. Rita's Water Ice is a famous water ice place in Philly, and the first day of spring, they give the store away. You get whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> Free water ice. Foley and his family back up with a fucking pickup truck. <laughs> beep, beep. Got our own cooler. <laughs> Dry ice in the back seat. <laughs> uh, we don't even do that. We're, yeah. not, we're not garbage like that. The, the, the Foley's don't go for the free shit. Now, I'm not saying my mom doesn't have a bunch of fucking Bed Bath & Beyond 20% big coupons. You, you can't avoid those things. If <laughs> You wake up, they're under your pillow. Those, they, they, get those things, they get those fucking coupons everywhere. How is that place still in business? I think they're going out of business. Oh, are they? <laughs> yeah. It's 20% off if you need it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, give you the store? Oh. Yeah, but no, we don't, I, I don't fuck with any of that ah, shit. That's a tough one. I'll do a dollar dog night. I'm not saying that. I'm yeah, not a fucking asshole. That's a deal. That's not a freebie. Yeah. You know, big hat. But a freebie, there's just something so 
and ain'tly trashy about like standing in line no. to get your small Slurpee. Then you get there like, oh, we're all out of the Coke. You got to have fucking Fanta. You're like, what are we? No, I want the goods. I'll come in tomorrow and buy a proper thing of what I want. We the Foley's don't wait in line for anything like that. We just don't. We don't camp out for Except tickets. Sk- Skinner tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of meatloaf tickets, huh? <laughs> yeah. Fleetwood Mac. Who's down. buying, huh? <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't fuck with that shit. Yeah, um, yeah, that's good though, man. Um, I'll take a free dessert at the end of a meal, though. That's really. Quiet. What do you mean free dessert? What do you mean free dessert? Dessert at the end was of the on meal? the house. I love that. That's when you know. You ah, made. it's a little different. Yeah, dessert is on. The, yeah, have you ever lied to say it's your birthday to get a free one? No, mm-hmm. we don't do that shit either. There's no singing happy birthday. No. Happy happy birthday had uh, to hit the fucking bricks. Yeah, some fucking meth head. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. All skeeved up. Uh-uh. Yeah. Um, this is a big one. It goes back to the milk. And I love how all the listeners spell milk milk. It's fucking home run funny. Um, which is more garbage? M- milk with dinner or soda with breakfast? Oh, man. <laughs> Which I have done not too long ago. Soda and an omelet. It just doesn't <laughs> fucking work, man. It's real they, weird. It's like, it's like mixing two worlds. Stop looking at yourself. Whatever. This guy likes his look on camera. <laughs> Stop tanking. I, I, I need to look at one winner. Keep you know eye I mean? contact. <laughs> Stop. Why do you got to do that? Be weird. Do you Have you ever had soda with breakfast? Uh, yeah, absolutely. When was the last time you had soda with breakfast? Mm. Last week. That's was a- nasty. <laughs> Got a sniper. <laughs> it was a breakfast sandwich. From did you make it? No. Oh, what am I a fucking diner? You know what's make fucked- a breakfast <laughs> sandwich? My, that's my mom's shit. You know what's great, dude? The Being all hungover, going to Mickey D's and getting a fucking a screaming cold uh, fountain coke. Oh, the perfect oh, amount of bubbles yeah. they put in. <laughs> they got scientists back there dropping in one too many bubbles. Oh, it's great. Speaking of McDonald's, I did something real trashy last week. I got two two breakfast sandwiches. When I did uh when I did RAP, uh, Dylan, last week. I came in, um, I got a McGriddle and a sausage McMuffin biscuit. Oh, I wanted watch a it, McMuffin. Watching your watching your intake, I see. Yikes. <laughs> but I only got through half of the sausage biscuit, and then when I got out of RAP, it was in the bag in the back seat, and I uh-huh. ate it cold on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> that just made my blood run cold, dude. I swear to God, I got to chill down my spine. Picture yeah. you biting. F- first of all, you fucking... <laughs> veering all over the road. Fucking <laughs> playing bumper cars down fucking 6th Avenue, <laughs> reaching back for a cold Sammy to shove down your fucking gullet. I love eating and driving. I don't know what it you is. You love eating and doing anything. <laughs> what are we talking about? I love eating and eating. <laughs> eating and sleeping, eating and farting. I love eating and driving, man. I love eating on the move. I don't know why. You know, I'm a go-getter. <laughs> Call me Charlie Hustle. I like to fucking keep it moving. Oh, fucking Foley Vaynerchuk over here. I'm moving, daddy-o. <laughs> Soda with breakfast. I'll do it. I was doing it a lot in the quarantine. A Coke Zero and, like, you know, something going on. Um, what if I do, what if you're at a diner at night and you're getting breakfast? That's different because sodi. I do. Yeah, I'll get. I'll, I know you're I'll a big get a, diet coke. I'll get a big. He needs two. Two. He gets that first one and I'm like an appetizer. <laughs> yeah, first one just to take the edge off, clear my head a and little bit. Let me bit. tell you something. Uh, just a heads up to all the fucking waiters and fucking diners out there. When things get back to normal, Kippy likes his fucking second refill quickly. If he's got to look around for you, <laughs> oh, it's coming off the top. Yeah, well, what the You'll process... you down to 15% real quick. <laughs> 15, that's where you start. <laughs> um, when you drop... Because I'm going to have one before the food. I'm gonna fi- you're going to drop one. I'm going to finish it. The food's going to come. And I'll, if you don't ask, go another Diet Coke. I don't. I need to eat and drink, like we talked about in the Sean Patton episode. Sip and bite. I'm a bite and sip kind of guy. Mm-hmm. I'm trash. I don't care what it is. Mm-hmm. If it's a soft pretzel or a slice of fucking pizza and a cold... Pork. I like when I have the food, like the little... You can see my little lip. Uh, on the rim of the you cup. You gotta go the extra fucking disgusting yard every time. Every time, you two. Little tuna fish. On uh, the but fucking... soda with breakfast is fucking trash psychopath yeah. stuff, for sure. Um, but I, I, I am guilty as charged. That was from Sam. Appreciate it, Sam. Thank you, Sammy. Um, have you ever lived in a household with more pets than people? And that's from Bargoyles. Jesus Christ. No, but I've, I've been high school. People would have, like, I remember the girl... Like My it. buddy's mom was breeding uh, hamsters. What? 
That's like corny level shit. Who breeds hamsters? What? <laughs> Living with the yak woman. <laughs> Dude, times must have been tough. And they didn't have a professional setup. There was no. It was just a couple of box, a couple of fucking boxes. The Thunderdome. <laughs> it was like hedonism for fucking and, you squirrels. You know what the smell is with that shit? It's uh, the wood chips. The chips. They, oh god. And you can never clean up all the chips, so there's pea chips floating around. Mm -hmm. She'd have a whole fucking. She had like three or four boxes of them. I don't know who they were. Wait, they were, is there money in that? What's I, going I don't know on? What's a gerbil go for? What's it go for? A nickel? I mean, <laughs> there can't there can't be a big profit margin on fucking breeding them. I guess in fucking Bluebell in the nineties there was. <laughs> Jeez, and the, things were wide open back before the mob got involved. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Bin Laden, for the Democrats regulating everything. <laughs> <laughs> big business coming in. Oh, holy no, shit. God, more animals than people. I remember this girl would be like, we have 37, like, they were like the fucking... 37 what? Dogs, we have 16 cats, we have this, like, you were, it was like fucking Ace Ventura when he goes, when he opens up his door. Was this, and the, your high school girlfriend? <laughs> no, the penguin slides out of the <laughs> freezer and shit. And she was like, I remember going, and you would go, and she'd be like, to put all the dogs in the backyard, or there was chickens and shit. It was fucking wild. More than two dogs is trash. Yeah. Because you can't stay on top, unless you got a live-in maid, you can't stay on top of the hair. I eat, or the poop, or the piss. If you got more than, yeah, two dogs is the cutoff. Yeah. Yeah. Cats is two, too. But you can't, no more than three animals total. Yeah. You can't do sad. two cats and two dogs. No. Depends on the house is run. I wouldn't marry somebody. I wouldn't marry or date somebody that had that many dogs. Really? No, that's crazy. Huh? An aristocrat. I'm in the I'm in the I'm in the market for a puppy. If any of you know any breeders, by the way, are you? Yeah, we were Get looking at hamster. <laughs> Rock bottom prices. <laughs> Let me wet my beak on the hamster. <laughs> Little shit. Well, I'll give it hamster. to you. I'll give it to you. Cost plus five. <laughs> Only five points on a hamster. My buddy just picked. Just got a rescue, but he got it from Alabama. Hamster? <laughs> no. <laughs> this one comes from an abused family. <laughs> they were fighting them, actually. Cigarette butts put out on them. No, it was a dog that he got from Alabama, and they drove it up, and we had to meet them at a mall. You were there? I went I went with them to pick it up. It was during the pandemic. I had nothing to do. It was a fucking, you know. Who's that, hard up, who's that hard up for a rescue? I guess that's the only place they could get one. There was nothing in Philly. The You're market. telling me there was no dog between Philly and Alabama? Well, I'm, I'm, sure, you to sit I'm here. sure you didn't want a fucking pity off I'm the streets of West Philly. I'm supposed to sit Philly. here as a fucking educated adult who went to college, Temple 2.5, <laughs> uh, GPA, and believe that there wasn't a possible dog for them to I'm get between here and Alabama? Listen, that's neither here nor there. This is where they got the dog from. They got it shipped up from Alabama. It came up in a van. In Alabama, she was winging hammers. Um, Jesus Christ. Okay. This one is from Aaron. How quickly could you get your hands on prescription painkillers right now? <laughs> you got a minute? What's up? Well, I can say this from my experience, which I've tried. Now, I thought it would be easy because I remember when I was, you know, I was partaking in some, you know. Dr. Feelgood over here. <laughs> I like to ride the lightning a little bit when we were back in Philly. And I remember it's a, little, a little too close to the sun. I remember I kind of put the feelers out there. Now I don't know if the family was playing defense on me, if they knew what I was up to. The family. Well, she's saying, "How could you get?" That's where you start. You start somebody. Somebody's got a script. An aunt, an uncle, somebody that's sick or something. That's where you start. Oh, I thought not, that's what the question. That's not where I go. Oh, I can make a phone call. We'll have some school buses on the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I used to like when we go to. I still, have, I still have some friends that are into nefarious activities. When we go to like Thanksgiving or Christmas, I you know, I, oh my back's killing me. Oh, yeah. really? You You're playing the seed. I just have like Tylenol. Are you anything stronger? It's killing me. I would do that. I always come up empty, except for once it worked out Christmas Eve. Woo! Dumb bro didn't see it coming. Fucking on, fucking on screwballs. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> How quickly? Yeah, I a couple of calls. It depends what city I'm in here. Less, but for sure. I mean, here more. I think I think here I can get anything within an hour. Yeah, all of if my I wanted to. All of my dirtbag. Not friends that I is, would. All of my dirtbag friends are still in. I'd Philly. have to. I'd, what I the biggest accomplishment for me was I would have to reach out to somebody to get the number. I don't have any numbers anymore. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, of course. But that's two phone calls, two texts. Two, yeah, two phone calls. Hey, yeah. do you still have Charlie's number? Still have JoJo's number? Or whatever the fuck. Not to know their real names. <laughs> you cut this tape. Can you beat that? <laughs> For legal purposes. <clears throat> um, this is from Austin. Have you ever been to an all-day music festival sponsored by a radio station? Oh, that is garbage. <laughs> what, Jingle Balls or whatever the fuck? <laughs> jingle, oh, yeah, Jingle Ball. 
Yeah. I was we we participated in one. We did stand up comedy at Music Fest in Allentown. Yeah, that's different though. Um I did. I went to a like one oh two nine MGK's sizzling. What's the one in Delaware? There's was one in Delaware in the summer. Firefly. But yeah. that's a music that's a proper music festival. That's Is not it? like a freebie of like I went to one at the Piazza in Philly for like WMGK's John DeBella. WMGK, classic rock? Maybe not. B101? Might have been B101. Yeah, there you go. Um, no, but it was like newer bands, Spin Cities or somebody. My, I don't know. So we went and it was like I was sitting there with a bunch of fucking mouth breathers with like the big fucking, you know, margaritas. And so I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? I here? hate those fucking, those those yards. Oh, and then like. Those are garbage. You keep it for a couple of yeah. days in the house. Someone. Ends up with change in it. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking trash. And you're always like, it's never like I want. I want it to be like a fucking comedy show where you go out, a band comes on, does 15 minutes, gets off, and hey, keep it going for the fucking Smiths or the Johnsons, and then the, you know. But you, there's like they got a breakdown set up. There's like 45 minutes between each act. You're sitting there like a fucking jerk off. My buzz is wearing off. <laughs> <laughs> sitting there I like an that. asshole. Not a big music festival guy. Not a big concert guy. When was the last concert you went to? That bought a ticket, like a proper concert. Um, I would have to say it was Elton John, Billy Joel at the Continental Center over there in Jersey. Saw it with my ex-girl. And we had broken up. We had broken up, but she had bought me the tickets for my birthday. That's and like, trash. A couple months later, she had the tickets, too. She could have iced me, but she's a good kid. She reached out. She was like, hey, do you still want to go? She was looking for a little She Willie. wasn't, because that was my whole plan. You got a limo and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we took a bus there and back. Ugh. Yeah. What? And I was, like, trying to convince You took a bus with your ex to go to a fucking concert? Yeah, uh, and I was trying to convince her on the way back to fucking- Like, like a Greyhound? Or like a city bus? Like a, no, like a New Jersey transit bus. Oh, dude, there. those things. They're like downtown Beirut, those things. I was a young kid. I didn't have any cash. I don't have any now, but I was, <laughs> I'm old. I'm an old man. I got no gauge. I would take an Uber now, but I was fucking putting the full core press to try to get back to her house. <laughs> you guys were to right to next re- to the bathroom <laughs> in the back? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think she pretended to be asleep most of the way home. Do you blame her? I was like trying to hold I would have pretended to be dead if I was her. <laughs> <laughs> What a fucking! I would have jumped out that fire escape. <laughs> Fuck that! You yeah, that was the last concert. F- fucking fat, no tooth guy making a move on I me. Was, I was on a New Jersey transit bus. I wanted her back so bad. Baby, she, she come cr- back! She crushed me yeah. for years. She crushed me. <laughs> Seems like you're over it. You <laughs> <laughs> eye roll for the audio <laughs> listener. Um, this is a big one. <clears throat> this is from Dick Talk. I I don't know if that's a government name. <laughs> Growing up, what liquid did you use to make hot chocolate? Milk or water? Well, that's not even an option, you psycho. What? Oh, to make hot chocolate. I'm thinking chocolate. <laughs> Dude, if you're making chocolate milk with water, <laughs> fucking DM me. I'll Venmo this guy's you. Guys, making cu- homemade you. <laughs> I'll Venmo you a couple of beans. Uh we were we were water people because I don't think we knew any better. <laughs> it wasn't until like I was an adult where I realized, holy shit, you can use milk. So much creamier, and then we would do it in the pan. In the pan, like a saucepan, like a like a pot. Pour the milk, get it boiling, put the powder in there to stir it up. Talk about home on the range. What are you <laughs> talking about? What you put it in the microwave like an animal or boil? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. We were definitely a water family until yeah. my stepmom came around in the mid nineties and she introduced us to Ovaltine chocolate milk. Fucking blew my hair back, dude. That and a couple of fucking ginger snaps. Good oh, night. man, those ginger snaps. They're, we're in ginger snap season. I know. Prime ginger snap season. If you go to my mom's house, she's got a couple left over from last season, oh, too. Man, those things, the way they melt inside. Oh, oh there's a point. There's a two-second period where you got to get those things out before they fucking liquefy. Yeah, they don't have a shelf life. No. No, you got to get them, get them in, get them out. <laughs> get them down. I know. But, dude... <laughs> Where you was like Swiss Miss, right? That was the brand. Yeah, we use Swiss Miss. Did you do marshmallows or no no marshmallows? What am I a fucking asshole? Of course, marshmallows. Well, the ones that came in the Swiss Miss packet. Yeah, uh, I dude. used to eat them. I would just take a spoon and right off the top. Whack, dude, whack they were. St- I don't know what they were, but they were in. They food. were like Lucky Charms uh, marshmallows. They Lucky were Charms. You really hit your fucking Irish brogue on Charms. They were Lucky Charms. Yeah, we were one of those families that put fucking extra marshmallows in the thing. Yeah. A regular marshmallow doesn't work in there. Yeah, they do. 
No. Not the big ones, but the fucking little guys, for sure. No. You know, my, my girlfriend in high school, her mom would make the hot chocolate with, with milk, okay, and put fucking the marshmallows in, and then take a fucking blowtorch and... <laughs> And cook the marshmallows. She French? What's going on? Damn. Yeah, she That's fucking, fucking did it nice. <laughs> she got the welder's mask on, <laughs> flips it down. <laughs> like she's in Running Man. <laughs> That's a deep cut. What, Isn't that Running Man? With Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah. I don't remember the welder. There was like a torch guy, like a flamethrower guy. <laughs> I don't know if I can remember. Whatever, just laugh at it and move on, will you? This can't all be home runs. Our second episode of the day. We were water people. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for we weren't sure. wasting milk on fucking hot chocolate. That was for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> there was none for, none left over for dessert. Full, full, he's got a beer helmet on with two, <laughs> two things of milk. <laughs> you ever do this? For a while, for some reason, uh, the pre-made chocolate milk was, was big in our house. We always had a, a gallon, like a huge fucking gallon of that in the fridge. My, my sisters do, my sister, my... Brother and sister do that for their kids. Now they got the big like Turkey Hill or like yeah. the localish ch- chocolate milk farm. But but they would heat that up and make chocolate milk. Oh really? Yeah. What's that turn into? <laughs> it seems like you're reducing it down to make a fucking crumble a or something. Make a pudding. Yeah. <laughs> Were you a pudding family? No. Absolutely not. What like the pudding snacks? You weren't with those guys. No. We used to make it homemade. You have to wait till like the next day. It was brutal. <laughs> I remember one time it was fucking... Fucking making dessert the night before. What are you doing to me? Dude, a babysitter trying to make us make our own ice cream. I was like, Tuts, I don't know if you've checked the garage freezer recently, but there's a fucking gallon of briars in there, and I don't like the pink shit either, all right? So keep it on the left side of the road, will you? Hey, honey, my mom didn't leave a 20 for treats so you could fucking show us how they lived in the 1800s. Call up Domino's (laughs) and get the briars out with the fucking Hershey's. Take me on a walk to Dairy Queen or you're followed. I'll say you grabbed me. (laughs) Yeah, fuck that. I remember... Put it in like a coffee can with ice, and we were like rolling it back and forth. You got to nah. keep it moving. I'm the like, only thing acceptable to make at home is cookies, okay? Brownies, any ba- any baked good. Yeah, and the Rice Krispie treat. Yeah, yeah, baked. That's good. it. Yeah, yeah. Make your own ice cream. When does that stop? Then you're making your own sour cream. Like when the, f- the fuck is that? <laughs> fucking dilling my own pickles and shit. <laughs> Although my brother did his own pickles this summer, they were awesome. Oh, good for him. Half sours. Shout out to the Boone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I tell you things. what, fat kids always funny one, man. <laughs> uh, this Everybody is... loves those drops. <laughs> not, not on the YouTube comments. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> that kids, fucking, that's a that's a left left right combo, a one two three punch right there. Uh, um, is it garbage? This is from Teapot. Uh, is it more garbage to shower at night before bed or to shower in the morning before work or school? This is a great one. This is fantastic. I, uh, and there is a right answer. No, there's not. Yes, there is. Well. There is uh, a 100% right answer. We were always, uh, a sh- <laughs> after you got done your fucking paper route. <laughs> we were always a shower before bed when I was growing up. What age? Give me an age on that. Uh, all the way through high like, school. Okay. Yeah. But see, the problem was your hair was all fucked up in the morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. It looks like you brushed it with firecrackers. <laughs> and I, this is before we knew what like conditioner was. <laughs> and like in the winter, remember how like static. Using SOS pads and shit. How staticky your hair would be. Especially if you put a stocking hat on. You put that winter hat on, you take that off. You're fucking, you're like a thing of winter greens. It's just bad fucking news, sparkling dude. everywhere. Yeah. Um, but I'll say this you sleep better when you take a nice shower at of night. Of course. Before you go to bed. But I think to be the cleanest, yeah. you wake up and take a shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. If you want to take one to go before bed, by all means. I mm. did it last night. I took a little tubby time, okay? <laughs> tubby time for the for the old Gibster, right? A little long weekend. Let the hair down a little bit. Play with the violin a little, a little bit. bit. Of my, we, you, know what, you know what's fucking class? My girl just did. Hmm. She hung fresh eucalyptus in the shower. Oh, yeah. Patty's been doing that forever. She You're uses lying. Vicks, but same thing. Vicks Vapor Rub? Yeah, you put a little Vicks Vapor Rub in the bottom of the shower. And I think- <laughs> That's way different than fresh eucalyptus, okay? I'll tell you that much. It's like showering in the fucking rainforest over at my place. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're in fucking aisle three of CVS. Open up the pores? It's just nice. It, it loosens the shoulders a bit, even if it's mental. But if you shower at night, that's fine. It fucks your hair up. You got to fucking, you got to take a, a, even if it's a quick run by. You're not dirty, but you're not fresh. No. That's the thing. 
You're not dirty, 100%. You shower, you sit on the couch, have a little midnight snack maybe, you take you off the bed. That's fine, you're not dirty. You wake up, you gotta fucking, you gotta rinse off. I feel like it's different for the ladies. The ladies can get away with the shower the night before. But guys, we're, dis- you know, we're more disgusting. If you're going, to, yeah, you, you know, you gotta fuck, you gotta get in. in if not, you got soot on you and oil and mm-hmm. stuff. You fucking microbes. Plus, you know, you spanked it the night before when you got into the, you got into the sheets. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> what? Check, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. You got to shower in the morning. That's fucking hands down. Great question, though. Yeah, that was from yeah, it was from Teapot. Um, did your parents own a vehicle? This is from Jason. Did your parents own a vehicle that didn't run, or did your parents regularly experience car trouble? Say that one more time. I apologize. Did your parent? This is from Jason. Did your parents own a vehicle that didn't run, or did your parents regularly experience car trouble? Did you ever have like a lemon? Or you just couldn't get it right? Only once they had a lemon. My parents were always great on that. They were big lease people. So if we had a problem, you just take it right back to the dealership, usually under warranty. Um, and if not, you fudge a little paperwork. You know what I mean? Is it a four? Is it an eight? Who knows? The only mistake my parents... My Car-wise, my parents were always on fucking point. Always. 80s, we had a fucking Pontiac that was fucking tight. Pontiac what? Uh, like, I don't know. Whatever it was. Firebird? <laughs> <laughs> Sugar on my... my mom's on the roof. <laughs> on the hood. White snake in it. <laughs> you got a fucking cut off just white jeans on. Uh, no, they were always on point. Pontiac, we went from Pontiac to Nissan Maximus for about 10 years. What are you, what are you in the Russian mob? <laughs> Nissan Maximus. They were hot in the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s. What color was it? They varied. Navy blue is usually what we. A couple different with. colors. There's a red in the front. Navy blue is. Oh, that's real trashy. If that, that's had... on here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Multiple my. color car. Oh, parts. get the fuck out of here. I had worse. So my first car was a uh, Chevy Lumina, twelve hundred beans. Shout out to my stepdad, twelve hundred bucks Chevy Lumina. And I talked to a guy in the car biz, like. Owns dealerships, and what happened was so. In, I think it was in '96, '96 Chevy to cut prices or to do something. They used galvanized or ungalvanized. I think they used galvanized steel for the car instead mm-hmm. of ungalvanized. And galvanized paint doesn't stick to. Okay, but they didn't. I, I know. I don't know. I get it somehow slipped through the cracks. They knew. So, <laughs> especially after a couple of years, a little wear and tear. The paint would fucking yeah, those luminous were garbage. dude. It would strip off like you could just and like all my friends would get all high and drunk, like just pull <laughs> chips off, dude. So mine was like it looked like Start snow. Them. It looked like snow camo. Like the doors would just be like there'd be no paint on the doors or no paint on the trunk or no paint on the hood. Mine was all in there. It was like spray paint and stuff at a time. <laughs> using like you're supposed to be called touch up paint. I was using like nine cans of that shit. Nail polish. Yeah, taping off the fucking taping off the fucking. Uh, oh really? Yeah, I was like, I, never I used... was like double. It was like Mako in my driveway for I, a little bit. I've painted a lot of shit in my day. I've never used painters tape once. Yeah, eyeball it. <laughs> How big? You get what you get. I'll def- I might do the first run, but then like you know, fuck that shit. Yeah. That shit always sucked. That was the worst part of it. Taping everything up first. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Broad ain't gonna know. I know. I'll be long gone by the time she sees me. <laughs> I did that one time I was going to I was going to Ireland in college and I needed my mom's like, I'll give you two hundred bucks if you paint the bathroom or whatever. So I'm like, all right, yeah, fucking spray paint. Yeah, dumb broad didn't see us coming. <laughs> fucking de- I wasn't in the fucking better business bureau, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> this is before fucking Yelp or Amanda's Choice or with an Angie's list. Because <laughs> fucking <laughs> <laughs> because, Andy's dude, I'd leave, I looked like I had Parkinson's when I was fucking trimming out the fucking. There was, it was Paint like. the mirror. I was like an olive greenish or I forget, but dude, it was all over this. The ceiling was supposed to be white, but it fucking. It looked like I was fucking throwing M80s in that place, dude. There was yeah. paint everywhere. Anytime I was asked to do some shit like that, I half assed everything. I know. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Clippings sure. on the lawn. Fuck. <sighs> did I remember. Raking the leaves, you couldn't even tell. <laughs> bitch about it the whole time. I know. I had to. I, I grew up cutting the grass, and we had a fucking John Deere from like. Dude, I'm not even fucking like 1972. This thing was like big metal, no plastic. Sit on. down. Sit down. Wow. Big boy, like fucking heavy duty. Somebody knew. I a, love those residential sit down mowers. They're one of my favorite things of all time. But this was like kind of between like. 
this was before things got small and technology. Like, this was like a fucking big green metal fucking hunk of steel. Did it have the like the long front and the tires on the side, the big tires in the back? Bigger tires in the back, little tiny ones in the front. Yeah, I burned myself on one of those real bad. I grabbed the muffler as a little kid. Oh, Jesus Christ. I like ran up to my dad while I was cutting the grass and I grabbed onto it. Campo Fanique. That's when I got introduced to that. You know what Campo Fanique? Is that English? <laughs> Campo Fanique was like a like a disinfectant or pain reliever in the Solar cane? Days. No, we didn't have solar cane money. We you didn't have fuck. solar cane money? That worked for the Navy. What are you talking about? Solar cane. Fuck out of here. You got Camp Openique and you got iodine. That was it. What is, what is this, a fucking Civil War hospital? <laughs> iodine? Who's putting iodine on anything? Well, we used to put, my mom used to put iodine on everything. Anytime we had a cut or Put some on the eggs in the morning. <laughs> so numb you up a little bit. Rub a little in your gums. <laughs> like a yak. Instead of brushing your teeth. Ma, I didn't have time to brush my teeth. I got iodine in a glove box. It stung like a motherfucker. We were big. Uh, Dirt uh, balls? <laughs> for sure. Uh, like alcohol, rub it, like, you know, or like hydrocortisone or whatever. Not cortisone, the hydrocodine, not hydrocodine. Hydro peroxide. Peroxide. Yeah. So you get to see it working. Oh, dude, bubbles, bubbles, buddy. <sighs> Hit something with some bubbles. Ooh, Love that. Love the sting. Yeah. I remember we would like do it and we like had to like watch if my brother had something, we'd do it to him. And like we because you'd want to see the bubbles. And then if they were complaining and there was no real bubbles, you're mm-hmm. like, you fucking pussy. We used to do you that. Too. Bubbles, dude. I feel like there was a lot of times where me and my brother, if one of us were like injured or something like that, like I remember watching my mom scrape blackheads out of my brother's ear. For some What's that? What in the fuck? What is he, a golden retriever? <laughs> Check, please. <laughs> Scraping blackheads out of his ear. Yeah, with a, with a, a pair of tweezers that she bent up to get the nice scrape, and she would scrape them out of there. It was before those suction things. We used to always watch each other get that done. I don't know why. Any Anything like that, we'd watch each other. Because you didn't have cable. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's on tonight? Broken femur? <laughs> get the iodine. Get the... <laughs> Pretty quick, this guy. Pretty quick. <laughs> well... That's garbage. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> um, all right, let's see here. This is from CG. Did anyone ever forget to pick you up at school or anywhere? Let me tell Have you. Have you ever something. been forgotten? Yeah, I've been forgotten a lot. I don't think I've ever been proper forgotten, but I've definitely been deprioritized. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I've definitely been put at the bottom of the list in priorities for my dad. Because he showed up with a couple of fucking rolling rocks and Michelobes. My mom lost me in a Kmart when I was probably, I might have been pre-kindergarten because I didn't know what was going on. And Hiding in the circle <laughs> rack of jackets. <laughs> no, so remember that? That was like another oh, world. Oh yeah, when that got was in fun. There. That's when you were in control. But I think this broad just left me in an aisle. Yeah. and forgot that I was there, mm-hmm. and like walked around the corner, and I didn't know, I didn't know whether to shit or go blind. Yeah. I was just wandering around screaming. Mm-hmm. And this is the eighties. Everyone mind their own business back then. I Nobody know. was fun. Mom's the word when it comes <laughs> yeah. to a screaming kid. Kid must have done something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> parents are trying. I to don't want to be next. Keep it moving. <laughs> Ah, uh, and I just kept wandering around and wandering around. It felt like days, probably like 10 minutes, yeah. but I'm a little fat kid, you know, <laughs> probably all jacked up on an icy. Wandering around, and luckily, just by coincidence, my Aunt Lorraine just <laughs> working, <laughs> just happened, she might have worked there, just happened to be in the store, and she found me. That's why I always love my Aunt Lorraine. Okay. Not to mention she makes nut roll at Christmas. Fantastic. That's not the only time she makes it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first time. Second time, when we moved from Wilkes-Barre down to Philly, okay, down to the Burbs of Philly, I told you, we lived in Townline apartment, Townline townhouse community, which was like a fucking maze when you, you know, when you didn't know it. Everything looks the same. Yeah, every, I didn't know where the fuck, I didn't know my fucking address. Did, like, when, when did you know what your address was? I don't, I mean. In college. I didn't fucking know where the fuck I lived. Sure. And my brother went to, like, the middle school, and I was going to the elementary school, and I guess she picked up my brother at the bus stop and then or had to pick my brother up from school. Something. Anyway, I know we had a fucking plan. She was going to meet me in the car at the fucking bus stop and I get off and there's no car. Yikes. Yeah. And it's the fall. It's getting dark. It's Whoa. a I don't know the fucking neighborhood. So there, there I am again, just wandering around fucking ah, screaming. 
People were probably eating dinner. Some fat uh, kid walking by. Staring, <laughs> staring through the window. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually, I mean, this was a level of panic that has cre- built insecurity in me to this day. I didn't think any. I was never going to be. Really? Fat. You seem like a cool guy. I didn't think I was ever going to be fucking found. I just happened to stumble into the fucking uh, the rental office. And I just walked in. What's the price of a two bedroom in this dump? (laughs) You guys get military discounts? (laughs) My old man, I don't know where he is, but he served. And I walked in. I don't know where the guy Fucking just freaking out. I think they kicked me out of the rental office because I was. (laughs) Yeah, you were jamming up the works. (laughs) That guy was ready to get. That guy was ready to close somebody on a fucking on a studio. <laughs> Meanwhile, a little fat kid comes in with a tie dye shirt. All of a sudden, he's got these. Hey he's kid, about, take a walk. I'm working here, will you? <laughs> hey, hey kid, here's a dollar. Snack machine's down the hall. Get the fuck out of my face. You got kids? What the fuck? Hey, go play in those bushes, fatty, will you? <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> I got a whale on the line over here because I don't remember them taking me to my house. I remember leaving there, like, yeah, hey, walking in and then walking out. Ah! And now, like, my book bag sliding off my back. Uh, my, yeah. my coat's half open. Ah, it's like Night of the Living Dead for lost little fat boys. <laughs> I'm a little fat boy. And then I remember fucking, I somehow made it back to the bus stop, and she was, like, pulling up, flicking a marble light out the window. Uh, yeah, probably putting her underwear back on. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, his I was, mom's I was, a whore, you get it? It's <laughs> working, it's working. <laughs> and I remember my brother laughing in my fucking face about it for so long. I re- dude, I remember one time we were playing, this is a shout out to, we were Tapestry, we were playing Tap, we were playing, uh, what? it's the name of the neighborhood, Tapestry, it's like a townhouse, community. But there were, they had courts, so we went there to play, somebody lived in the neighborhood, we went there to play roller hockey. I was probably like, I couldn't drive, 14, like I was, yeah, probably 14 maybe, Thir- 12, 12 to 14. And I'm in there, same thing. It was spring, so it didn't get like didn't stay dark out that long, right? And we're playing with like ten kids. You mean it didn't stay light out. No, that's what I mean. Yeah, sorry. It got dark. It was still getting dark early. It was, yeah. You know, seven o'clock or whatever. That's when it got frightening when you oh, were a kid. Oh man. That sun went. Why down. is everything so scary at night? Even now. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just pee my pants so I don't have to get up and walk. Uh, I hate driving down a fucking empty road at night. Oh, dude, I got a game plan for sure. <laughs> Something comes out. I'm f- waiting for the slender man to get me. Knock on wood. <laughs> Um, but, uh, we were, hold on, I put a pin in that story. We were, I just went up to the, uh, Catskills not too long ago, over Mm-mm. a couple of, you know, a month or two ago. Not at buddy. night. Shout out to Flip. And it's in the morning, so it was, like, still weird, but it's, like, when you're thinking, you're like, oh, this is kind of like the beginning of a movie. Two couples go, they're staying in the woods, and you're, like, picking, like, so, so we, in the morning, we're, like, driving the to this The one girl's doing both the guys. <laughs> you were there? Uh, so we're driving. Peeking in the window. And you're like in this country road, so there's like a house every now and then or whatever. It's all windy, you know. And uh, there's this old man, like deranged. You're looking in his eyes, and he ain't there. I don't know where he is. Where was he? He's standing in the middle of the road. Shut the fuck Dude, up. Dude, fucking dirty, like real dirty jeans. What? Not like dirt, like mud. Like he's just had them on for 20 years. I would you know have ran I mean? him right over. So my buddy Flip is driving. I'm in the back seat. And he's uh, in the middle of the like dude, a country road. Country road, and he's got a little white fluffy dog. Going, and the dog's now like we can't see the dog because he's up on the car. So the guy's coming to the car, like he's telling us to get the fuck out of here. Like, but he doesn't know where he is or who he's talking to. He's yelling at somebody in another decade in his life. Oh my god! And he's going, <laughs> and I'm dude, I'm yelling, and flips going. Hey, man, you got to get out of the way. And I'm like, fucking mulch him, dude. I'm like, or put it in reverse, fucking Kate, to like, fucking U-turn. Let's go. Kill the headlights and fucking so, throw it in reverse. And going, hugga, hugga. And I'm like, put it. I'm like, dude, fucking reverse. Like, now I'm pat. And when I go, it's fucking, I'm like, dude, I'm full fight or flight. Dude, and I'm this like, 2020. I don't play I'm that not, shit. No. I'm like, I'll fucking mold. And then he's going, well, I don't, I don't want to run over the dog. I'm going, fuck the dog. This <laughs> This we got a zombie. This guy's gonna steal our souls. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> fucking stick and move. What are we doing? It's gonna turn us into stone. So finally, it just took me screaming, "Go!" So we backed up, and then we were able to like fucking zip around him. But dude, fucking dead man, <laughs> fucking walking right down. Then we fuck we, that, dude. Man. We're like two That's miles away. That's some shit. Too exactly. I'm like, this is how it starts. <laughs> I'm like, later that night, I'm like, next thing you know, you turn around, he's in the back seat. Yeah, the dog's driving. <laughs> fuck that. We get to we get to the like the turkey and whatever, like the little convenience store, and we're like, 
<laughs> is there something? Is there like a crazy guy that walks around here? Guy like, slowly turns around. Like, that guy's been dead for 37 <laughs> years. Or um, Do you have a little white dog with him? Yeah, but I fucking... So, so but my, we're playing hockey, like 12, 13 years old, whatever, and everybody gets picked up, right? Like Mrs. fucking whoever comes and gets Billy and Steve. Hey, Kev, do you need a ride? No, I'm all right, my dad's coming. Fucking, you know, then Mrs. Johnson comes and get fucking blah, 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 blah. And then finally, it's like one other person and me. And then like, you know, Liam's mom comes and it's just and they're like, Kev, Wait, do you, you grew need... up with a Liam? Yeah. They're like, oh, do you, do, do you need a ride? I'm like, no, 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 my dad's coming. He said 515. It's now 630. Right, you're old but... man. Yeah, well, he liked the. He's fuck got it. three Schlitzes. Oh, uh, he, he liked the he liked the Michelobes. He wasn't a beer guy. He was a Michelob guy. <laughs> I don't drink beer, just Michelob. Is it beer or Michelob? Uh, and plus, he they was had like the foil on the bottles. Oh yeah, they, those those eighties guys thought they were real classy with those things. <laughs> I know. I Get a Lowenbrow. It's <laughs> <like> a hike. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a Yinger and zip it, okay? Yinger uh, and some Moz stick. <laughs> so he fucking uh he. I'm talking, now it's getting dark. And I'm like, that's the panic starts setting in you. Like, am I going to be here forever? I'm like, I'm four miles from my house. I got rollerblades. I don't know. what. I got to, like, cross a main road. What the fuck's going on here? No cell phones. I'm just waiting. So I'm like, oh, maybe if I skate, if I, like, I think I might have still have my rollerblades on. Or maybe I took them off in case I had to make a fucking move. <laughs> be able to get out on all terrain. You know what I mean? Can't be heading up trying to run through the woods. Zipping just... around like Casey Jones, like a jerk off. <laughs> Can't be running through the woods in a set of bowers. <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> Tripping over the brake. <laughs> Little fat kid with a ball cut. <laughs> Come on, mister, don't kill me. <laughs> My dad's on his way. Uh, he shows up, dude. It's like, now it's like dark. Like, And I'm like, maybe if I'm, you're so naive or whatever. Like, maybe if I skate, I'll like walk to the front of the... By the time I get to the front of the thing, he'll be pulling in and I'll... I sat there like a fucking jerk off till like ten thirty. Were you crying? I don't think I don't think I was that far from it, but I wasn't. Finally gets in like nothing. I'm like, where the fuck were you? The guy got tied up with the thing with the guy. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's like fucking Michelobes rolling around in the back seat. <laughs> he played it fast and loose with the open containers. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I might have to cut that out. <laughs> uh, yeah, that shit was. Yeah, scary. getting forgot was is tough. Mm-mm. No bueno. <laughs> That was a great question. That was great from, question. That was from CG. Uh, this is from James, who was an old Center City comedy. James, supporter from way back in the day. Thank you, James. Um, do you? This is different because we we live in the city, so it's a little bit with the air conditioning. Do you adjust the thermostat when you leave for the day? So when you come back, or do you just like let it the heat on all day, or the? Yeah, we got window units in the city, so we crank them. But now the new air conditioner we have has some kind of Bluetooth remote thing. My girlfriend can turn it on Ooh. when we're close to we're only like twenty minutes out. Like I, say, say we're down at my parents for the weekend. I got a vibrator like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honey, I'm I'm three stops away. Start the appetizers. <laughs> huh? I'll be home for dinner. Huh? <laughs> Uh, but no, like we're we're coming over the GW bridge. Zip it on. So yeah, it's cool so you get down. there. It's fucking nice. It's a little and different. Good. We're my we got the one. My mother was a Nazi about that. Oh shit, yeah, that's though. that's the thing. Dude, it's my, so insane. My, now, my, now, my my parents my parents today will sit on the couch in winter jackets like they're at a fucking, in the winter like they're at an Eagles game and they're <laughs> sitting they're sitting on like a fucking three thousand dollar sofa wearing fucking winter jackets. I'm like. Crank the heat up a little bit. It's nine <laughs> bucks. Here's a 20. I'm here for the weekend. It's crazy. I, I just don't get it. We weren't allowed to fuck. If we even looked at the thermostat as a kid, we got a fucking but frying then, pan in the back of the head. But th- it used to be like the turn one. Then we got the digital one. And now the, the big thing with us is run program. You got to run program. If you're leaving, uh, they have it on a if thing. you're leaving, press run program. It'll take it up to seventy two or whatever. You know what I mean? Like it's not going to full. Bl- I'm like, lady, that's garbage shit. You got a couple of bucks. I pay what the are we? Take it out of my, it. take it out of the will. What are we doing? I work too damn hard to take be, it out of my allowance to be fucking. Sweating. Give me one slice of bread on the sandwiches. Who <laughs> yeah, gives a shit? I, I like know, it right? cool. I'm trying to do keto anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I love a roll up. Somebody posted a picture in the. Uh, uh, Facebook uh, fan page mm-hmm. roll. It was a the pickle in the center with cream cheese and yeah, ham. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's trash. But Clean also shout out to if you're on. Uh, there's very active Facebook groups, Reddit, and now Discord, which I don't really know a whole bunch about. But there's three active things. So if you're on those, you can check them out. People, thank post you guys. The we appreciate the love and the and support. all that shit. It's great. Um, 
All right, let's see. Um, this what re- this is from Jay Adrian. What home remedies did your mom use when you were sick? <coughs> this is a big one. For some reason, for us, ginger ale was like the fucking oh, yeah. cure Flat all. Ginger ale. My mom did fucking nothing, dude. That and that and some toast. Oh yeah, or Sprite. My mom. I'm like. Do my, we were. I'd be like, your I mom feel, Tiga, the fuck? Tiga, some, some lean. I don't know. He's a rapper. Tiga, Tiga, sorry. Tiga. Oh my god, you're an idiot. <laughs> oh, that was a stretch. <laughs> Should have said Travis Scott. God damn it! <laughs> I tell you uh, what, fat kids always funny. One man, <laughs> two same drops in the same show. He's gonna have to talk to my attorney. Um, Sprite, Sprite. It was like if what you were the fuck. I don't know. That is It was garbage. the 90s, dude. Sprite was a health drink. Root beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Sprite and toast. It was a clear liquids. It was the thing. Anything clear. I didn't do shit. Yeah. You know what my mom got into? I think... Ketamine? <laughs> a little bit of Seroquel. <laughs> Stop the screaming. Um, was Kripnik. You know what Kripnik is? <laughs> no, but it does not sound classy. It's some kind of Polish liqueur. Like lemon ginger something liqueur, and she would give us a little bit of that in a cup of tea. And when you're like fucking twelve, that's fucking it's fucking lights out. Yeah. What we used to do for toothaches was the Jack Daniels. Yeah. Little Jack, fuck you up. Little Jack Daniels on the fucking num- rubbing nummies with JD. <laughs> I know. Now you wonder why I got such a fucking problem. Taste for the booze. Yeah. Yeah. That shit would fuck. We 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 would do that over like let's go get some fucking Ambisol. What are you giving me fucking Evan Williams for? I know. I think at some at some point in the nineties, we obviously there was a little bit I mean, like, you know, it was fucking They would rub it on your gums when you were teething too. They'd rub a yeah. little little But like we would do shit to like cut three bucks. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I we're think... not gonna do this, do this. And I'm like, what? Like looking back, I'm like, what the fuck were we saving the pennies for? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Fucking just go buy some Ambisol or some fucking Orange or exactly. whatever. They're like, we're all, you know, like taking, oh, I think whoever's got a thing. What are we doing? Using yeah. old Neosporin? I remember recycling antibiotics. Like, oh, well, uh, oh, so-and-so yeah. still has some antibiotics that they didn't take. I'll get you them. Sure. I think like, someone's got a half a Z-pack. They almost killed me one time with that because they got me uh, antibiotics from somebody else, and I was allergic to whatever the antibiotics were. And I remember distinctly because I felt like I had glass in my stomach and it was taco night. Ate a cup. (laughs) It was taco night. And I remember being so pissed off because I couldn't have the tacos. So your lot's changed. (laughs) Fucking sucks, mom. It's probably why they gave it to me. So I'd stay away, save a couple bucks on the ground beef. Yeah. Um, You know what? I used to fucking love uh, Dimatap. Remember that? No. What? Dimatap? Yeah. The cold stuff? Who are you, Diane Keaton? What it's like mean? Dimatap. Yeah. What the fuck is that? You don't know what Dimatap <laughs> is? The great Dimatap? No, yeah, Robitussin like a fucking oh, gentleman. Damn, that was heavy duty stuff. <laughs> the big I, I, had a, I had to operate heavy, heavy machinery. Later I used that to day. love cough medicine when I was a kid. That Dimatap was fucking cough medicine. Get you right back in here. Yeah, one time I drank a half a bottle of cough medicine when I was sick, and my mother freaked the fuck out. Drug me to the pharmacy, got Ipecac, drug me back home. Was it the 20s? Ipecac? Yeah, got on top of me, like, pinned me down. I'm listening. (laughs) (laughs) Can we lower the lights in here, please? Got on top of me, like, fucking, like, you know, like, blocked my arms with her knees and, like, opened my mouth and poured Ipecac down my throat so I would throw up. Psycho. Good time. Check, please. (laughs) This guy's a fucking loony. So love cough medicine and cough drops. I loved it when I was a kid. Ludens, <sighs> good night. Are they national? Do you think Ludens? I don't know, but they there was they, 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 there was no medicinal. It was just lifesavers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just cherry. My mom life-savers. would send me to school with a thing of Ludens. I wouldn't even make it to the fucking bus stop. <laughs> Dude, I'd be boofing those things. <laughs> Ludens on the bus. Yeah. It was like you know handing what? out fucking twenty dollar chips at the Borgata. <laughs> Kidding me? You get your fucking dick sucked in the back for take two my, Ludens. Take my bags to my room, will you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be at the tables if you need. <laughs> Carry my bags to homeroom, will you stretch? Here's a couple of Ludens. <laughs> treat, treat yourself. Here's a couple of Ludens. <laughs> oh. You know what was real nice too in high school or even college? Um, a nice halls and then a Bernie really clean out the <laughs> airways for the fucking Siggy. That was fucking a nice cherry halls and then crank a Marb Light. Woo! 
Ooh. Yo, my dad. I don't really perk up the ears <laughs> for you. A regular halls when you were a kid. <laughs> oh, dude. Might as well have been a fucking shot of Cuddy Stark. What the? I fuck? remember they would give me. I remember being like, "What the?" F-? My I remember when my sister like started preferring them. I'm like, "This broad, <laughs> was she driving truck? What's happening here, dude? Those things were fucking medicinal." I don't know why, but my dad now <laughs> eats cough drops like they're mints, and he'll ask you. In the middle of the summer, you want a cough drop? What the fuck do I want a cough drop for, you fucking psycho? It's fucking July 4th. You're offering me a cough drop. <laughs> fucking fireworks going off. I don't want a fucking hole. A hall. cough drop in the summer. <laughs> Dude, those halls, man. They, the fucking triangle ones. Or the square ones square that had ones. the little dip in the center. Mm-hmm. They'd, first of all, they'd slash your tongue oh, like the yeah. fucking East Coast Talk Strangler. Talk about glass. Yeah. Oh, God. Holy shit. So we used to, she used to put those in, uh, like, medicinal. <laughs> Wrap them in cheese so you would eat them? <laughs> Treat like a schnauzer? <laughs> Fucking wrap it in a piece of lunch meat? <laughs> you and your brother jumping around the kitchen? <laughs> Fucking fat idiot. <laughs> no, you're talking about homemade remedies. She would put a cough drop in a, in a thing of boiling water. They could drink that. Ah, a I cup of tea. Yeah, I guess. <sighs> Remember, oh, you know what was a really bad Holy shit, chloroseptic. Oh, dude, get out that of was here. like, that was for fucking, that was like Tidy Bowl. I don't know what that shit was. <laughs> Turn I was your mouth the, blue. That, dude, that was, <laughs> I was like to clean the fucking urinals. <laughs> chloroseptic. No, those that things. That fucking. Ch- ch- yeah. Oh, oh, that. I thought stuff. you meant the. Oh, no, I'm, the, I'm thinking of SEPA call. No, like, remember the no, things that yeah, came yeah, in like yeah. the Altoids pack? Yeah, no, no. Chloroseptic was oh, the fucking get squirt here. gun. Of you fucking. had to hold me down to get that shit in me. <laughs> you needed a super soaker and a fucking really good shot oh, to dude. get that to the back of my throat. I just felt I might have a panic attack thinking about that. That was like half cocaine. I'm pretty sure. Dude, it was like fucking no. ethanol. It was something. It burned like, especially for like a six year. I remember the one time I had, I'm looking back, it was heartburn, but I didn't know what it was as a kid. Oh my God. And I was doing that to take the edge off because I had all this fucking acid coming up <sighs> in my throat. Fucking. <laughs> Real hotty, huh? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with the chloroseptic. Dude, there was, a, there was a bottle of chloroseptic in my house. Same bottle for fucking 22 years. <laughs> That stuff. Put it under the put it under the sink with the other chemicals. I'm so trashy though. I can say this: when I was a kid in the winter, I used to love the cold and flu commercials. There was something cozy about them. It almost make you want <laughs> yeah, to be sick a little fucking bit. Methamphetamine fix. <laughs> it was, you know, it was season. <laughs> it was it was night time? Season B yeah. or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> Oh holy shit! What do you got? Um, I think we got time for one more. Yeah. All right, then let's. I want to do this. Then this was. This is a a ben- This is from a listener, Ben, who sent in. This is a piece that he sent in. Okay. Um, this is a message he sent, uh, and he had sent it in the in the Facebook chat, and I saw it immediately. I saw the alert, and I was like, "Delete this. I want to do it on the show, and so you wouldn't see." This might be new level. Wacky, insane garbage. I love it. Okay, guys, I've been holding on to this one until now. I swear my this life... This isn't our Ben, is it? Our friend Ben? No. Okay. I swear... <laughs> I swear my life this is all true. This is my great aunt, Marge McCool. Sounds like a fucking winner already. My great aunt Marge is internet famous. She was my grandfather's sister. I grew up across the street from my grandparents, and Aunt Marge was always around, and she always was driving a Corvette or another sports car. Okay. A couple of bucks. Um, I was always told Aunt Marge worked an antique store, which is why she's always bringing us awesome old stuff. Well, I found out by accident from my college girlfriend that my great Aunt Marge, at the ripe old age of 77, was in fact a stripper. Wow. Woo! Must have a set of cans on her. (laughs) Marge McCool. (laughs) More like Marge McDrew. And had been for decades. I was stunned to say the least. Oh, so she wasn't a stripper at 74. She was in her younger days. No. Still working. Currently at 77. Wow. Hence the vet. Got a little bit of cage. Yeah. You know, got to play the part. Can't be showing up in a fucking beat up Lumina. Mm -mm. Aunt Marge is also internet famous as the lady who married a 31 year old. Wow. 77 marries a 31-year-old. Some good Punani. <laughs> she probably kept it tight. Kegels and all. <laughs> My parents were also at the Daytona 500 where Dale, where Dale Earnhardt had died at. Jesus. The Intimidator. Rest in peace. Wow. If you don't think we were a... Grow, if you weren't an NASCAR, 
guy. Of course. My stepdad, big race guy. Richard Petty or Dale Earnhardt. That was it. No, Jeff Gordon. It was. It was. Oh fuck, it was, Jeff Gordon, yeah, pretty dude, boy. It was. Oh, we. I hated Jeff Gordon yeah. for some reason. I don't even know why. I mean, well, probably a good guy. Um, my first car, which was a. <laughs> My grandfather. Oh, this. My grandfather was on the local news. <laughs> was in the local newspaper for having seen an alien spacecraft back in the eighties. My first car was a Ford Ranger, which I sold for a Dodge Neon, which I then sold for a Dodge Dakota. This guy's fucking garbage of the year. He goes, "Do you think I'm garbage?" And then. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, and then he sends the link to Aunt Marge McCool or whatever. 91-year-old great granny boasts about her sex life with 31-year-old male. Is there a picture of her? Yeah. And? She looks 91. <laughs> Maybe 88. Holy shit. That yeah, you're what he wants? Come on. Next level fucking banana. Dude, the grandfather seeing an alien spacecraft That's is awesome. fucking trash. There when fucking Dale Earnhardt died. That's like that's, that's like Forrest Gump level of garbage. Yeah. Moment in history, though. He went out hard. Yeah. I don't know, really. It was like a little pussy crash. Now, what are you talking? He snapped his neck. Yeah, but the crash wasn't. Well, start running your mouth. Right? Hey, I'm don't a big... Disrespectful. We're an intimidator family. <laughs> we are, for sure. Do you like Dale Earnhardt Jr., though? Yeah. Cool. Well, known in our household as Junior. Ah. Junior's running. Got pole. <laughs> that's garbage. That's total garbage. <laughs> ah, when you got the lingo down. Junior's running, got pulled. <laughs> You're garbage and you stink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> about that. Guys, thank you so much for listening. We appreciate it. Please, as always, these fucking questions were awesome. We got the yes. like 10% of them. And I we love start. this. And hopefully you guys love the uh, the we're, family episodes. We're going to be doing this once a month uh, just because the fucking questions are yeah, fucking awesome. It's just awesome. fun, too. It's, it's casual. Yeah, it's a hang. Get you know? to hang me, out me and you. the big man get to chop it up a little bit. Yeah. We Without love you guys. Company. Guys, and make sure you re- please rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Also, full video available on YouTube. <clears throat> and also, uh, Gas Digital Network. You can sign up there. Use promo code AYG. We get to wet our beak a little bit. It's a good time. Uh, thank you so much. We got some new shirts coming out, too, yeah. in a little bit. Yeah, we have a lot of, a lot of new stuff coming up. It'll be great. A lot great. of fun stuff. We love you guys. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.